In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can build the easiest fully automatic iron farm for the 1.21 edition of Minecraft Bedrock. Guys, not only is this farm super beginner friendly, but it can get you all the iron you need and it only takes a couple minutes to set up. And of course, this farm works on all Minecraft Bedrock platforms, including MCPE, PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and Windows 10 Edition. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into the video. And here are all the things you'll need to build this farm. You'll need about a stack of building blocks, 20 workbenches, and in this case, I'll be using some fletching tables as they will get you the best rates and are super, super easy to craft. A bucket of lava and water, 20 beds, 3 hoppers, 2 chests, 1 piece of glass. You can also use a slab instead, a torch, 20 villagers, and 3 signs. And guys, as per the villagers, you will need about 2 to start the farm off with and then naturally they'll grow to become 20. So to start off, you'll need 2. So once you guys have everything to start off building this farm, you're going to want to find the correct location. So to do that, you're going to want to make sure that the location you choose is at least 150 blocks away from any other villages in any direction. So just look around and make sure there's no other villages nearby. And guys, if you have other structures that have villagers and beds in them, those count as villages. So make sure to build this far away from any villagers of any kind. So once the area is all good, make your way down to the floor and you're going to want to dig out a five by five and you're going to want to make it nine blocks deep. So at the end, you should have a hole that's five by five by nine. And once you guys are done digging out the hole, you're going to want to grab your temporary blocks, which in this case I'll be using cobblestone, and go to a corner and place two blocks just like this, skip the center block, and place two more. Now you're going to want to extend out these until they reach the other wall, and repeat that on this side as well, so just like that. Now you can grab your beds, and place five on either side just like this, and once you're done on both sides, you're going to want to crouch and break these two solid blocks under each bed, making sure not to break the bed. And if you accidentally break the beds, all you have to do is just replace the solid blocks, and then place the bed on top, then break it more carefully next time. But once you're done breaking all these blocks, you're going to want to grab the remaining beds, and then place them down underneath just like this. So in total, we should have placed down all of our 20 beds, like so. Now you can grab your solid blocks, and then fill in this gap with two blocks just like this, and fill it all the way. Now on top of this, you're going to want to make a floor, so just fill out every single block, place them on top of our beds like so. Now this step is really really important to make sure nothing spawns in here, you're going to want to grab a torch and place it in the center, as this is where our villagers will be staying. And now we're going to want to place down our fletching tables, to do that, let's prep the walls first. So break these three center blocks and two blocks on top just like this, and repeat that on all four sides. And once you're done with that, you're going to want to fill in these empty holes with our fletching table. So that should use up 5 on either side. So in total, that should be all 20 of our blocks used up just like this. And once we're done with that step, this is when you're going to want to bring in two villagers into this hole. And obviously if you're doing this in survival, all you need to do is just put a villager in a boat and just push them in just like that. You have one villager in there, and if you put in two more, and all you have to do is throw them some food like bread or carrots, and they're gonna start breeding, and this place will be filled with 20 villagers in no time. But since I'm in creative, I'll just use some spawn eggs for now. And guys, you're going to want to make sure that the farm is filled with at least 10 full-size working villagers before the farm gets started. But if you guys have 20 villagers, that'll be optimal. However, you cannot have nitwits or these baby villagers. So if you see any baby villagers, just wait until they grow up first before the farm starts working. And you're also going to want to avoid nitwits like this, which have a green coat on, as these cannot do jobs and will not help our farm at all. So if you see these, just get rid of them like this. So as you guys can see, once we have 10 villagers, a golem already spawned here, but for now, just remove them. And once you guys have put in all 20 of your villagers, you're going to want to close up this area and build up a new floor up here. Just like that, make sure to seal up everything. Now you're going to want to grab your hoppers and choose any corner for now and break these three blocks just like this and then place a hopper going into one of those soil and then place the other two hoppers going into the center one. Now on the opposite corner, you're going to want to place down a solid block and on top of that, you can place down our water and the water should float like this. Now you're going to want to grab our signs, place one right here, one right here, and finally one down here. Then grab your lava bucket and place it in this block. So as you guys can see, our signs should stop the lava from flowing out. And if you have any cats in the farm, they'll get killed by the lava just like that. Now to collect our loot, make your way to the corner with the lava, skip this one block and dig down by about four blocks. And if you break this block, you should see the point of our hopper. And in here, you can place our double chest like this. And to be able to open the chest, you're going to want to break this block and replace it with a slab or a glass block like this. So as you guys can see, the chest is openable. And that is the farm complete. So now all you guys have to do is wait for a bit and the iron golem should start spawning up here and get automatically killed by our 
killing chamber and the loot should be collected. And if you guys want some improved rates, all you have to do is spawn proof an area about 10 by 10 on either side of our farm. So if you guys built it on dirt, you can do it by just right clicking using a shovel like this and turning the grass blocks into these path blocks which do not allow mobs to spawn on them. So you're going to want to do this for about 10 blocks on all directions of the farm. But if you did it on sand blocks or any other kind of blocks, you can use leaf or slabs to just cover the area like this and mobs won't spawn on these either or you can cover them up in leaf something like this and guys if you see no golem spawning they might be spawning in caves nearby so just make sure there's no other caves within a 15 block radius of our farm so as you guys can see this is fine there's no other caves here but if you see any just spawn proof it by adding some slabs or some leaf blocks and as you guys can see just like that iron golem should be spawning inside our farm and they'll automatically get pushed by the water into our lava and after a couple seconds the iron will be automatically collected and put into our chest just like that we have four ingots and now all we have to do is wait and get as much iron as we ever want and yeah guys that's it that is how you can build the easiest fully automatic iron farm for the latest edition of minecraft bedrock